survey finds few Americans attribute suffering to God. A survey published by the Pew Research Center found that most American adults don't blame God, but rather people in society when bad things happen. The survey asked the respondents, in your own words, why do you think terrible things happen to people through no apparent fault of their own? 35% of the respondents see terrible things as random events. Another 13% mentioned that when bad things, that bad things happen due to God's will. The survey also asked the respondents to choose who they blame for the suffering in the world from a list of options. 71% believe that suffering is mostly a consequence of people's own actions. 69% choose that suffering is mostly a result of the way society is structured. 90, excuse me, 80% of respondents who believe in God think that the suffering in the world comes from the actions of people, not from God. I mean, is I'm, I'm, okay, I'm, I'm all for surveys and we need surveys like this, but this is what I would, wouldn't both atheists and religious people mostly agree? Like there's only, I would assume there's a small, small fractions of religious people who be like, oh yeah, it's God who's doing, who it's God's fault that this is happening to us. Okay, the atheists will agree with this because they don't believe in God, and religious people always make excuses for why, like it's like I don't know, it's the devil, no, it's free will, it's our own doing. Like hasn't this always been the case that good things God gives credit for, bad things is other. Unless you deserve it, it's God. If you don't deserve it, it's not really God. It's yourself or the devil or I don't know something else, right? So yeah, it just I mean, seems this like is something such, that yeah, it seems like just such massive cognitive dissonance to me. Like yeah, but this I mean, but it's not a new one. It's like has always been there. Like when it says all this me, time. <laughs> I mean, it, yes. I mean, I mean, at least with Abrahamic religions, like you have to go back to non-Abrahamic religions to for people to say like, oh yeah, Zeus is such an asshole. He did this to us. Fuck him, right? Um, I mean, not like, well, I mean, they wouldn't say that. They would like, because this might get angry. But I don't know. But like, I'm just saying that um, this is like, this is not new. Like, people have always made not blame God for things, even if they think that he's responsible for everything. But I guess I'm not saying, by the way, surveys are good. We do need surveys. But I'm just saying, I'm like, is anyone surprised that this would be the result? I guess not. I was kind of surprised. I was just like, what? Like, it's just so blatant. It was kind of interesting, though. So um, here's another quote. More than 70% of Americans say they rarely or never feel angry with God for allowing terrible things to happen to people. That's good I news. Mean, said, Wait, let me finish. That's good uh, news, said Jamie Atten, a disaster psychologist at Wheaton College. Atten said studies indicate that when people blame God for the bad things that happen in their life, they're much more likely to struggle with depression, anxiety, and trauma. Who blames God? Atheists don't believe in God. Religious people don't blame God for things. They make excuses for him. Like, who will show me the people who believe? Like, where are these people? They do not exist. Like, is it like a handful of people that like, yes, God is real and he's a dick. Like, who are they? They don't exist. <laughs> <And there's> not... <laughs> like, I haven't met them. Have you met them? <laughs> like some atheists maybe joke about it but nobody actually believes that really this was also very interesting half of the half of americans the survey found endorsed the idea that god chooses quote not to stop the suffering in the world because it is part of a larger plan obviously we know this and 44 percent said satan is responsible for most of the suffering in the world evangelicals and go. black protestants are especially likely to take this position yeah, but that's always been the case. Like, this is not new. This is not a new phenomenon. <laughs> like, like I don't understand. Like, hey, guess what? The same, the same answer. You like, I mean, Muslims will also not blame Allah. Okay, like if you did a survey right now and ask Muslims, do you blame Allah for the bad things that happen in the world? People are like, no. There's like, there's different excuses. Either it's the mm -hmm. devil, or there's a wisdom behind it that we don't understand, mm -hmm. or like, I don't know, it has to happen, or else free will will be like challenge or some other philosophical what they think is philosophical mumbo jumbo but anyways like yeah like this is not like like oh study finds that people who believe in god actually don't hate him like hey <laughs> wow okay sure um, 
<laughs> no way. Um, this was also interesting. Um, 80% of Americans think that the suffering in the world comes from the actions of other people, but this might not be the perfect antidote. Quote, the danger is in, uh, in this is when we turn our blame to others, we may see different levels of prejudice, bias, and people harming others in groups different from themselves, Atten said. That may be why we see so much tension towards one another in the United States. So they don't blame God, but they blame the people around them, basically. Yeah, anything but God, obviously. Even though he said <laughs> in the Bible that I created everything, including all evil things, right? Um, I, by the way, this whole idea of God being all powerful and all knowing and being responsible for everything, and yet free will being a thing, people like if you think that's a contradiction, that's because you're right. And the excuses, there has been no explanation for why that is not the case. Like, like religious people have to at some point adhere to you you just don't like you, you our mere human comprehension cannot comprehend why like, it's, it's an obvious because, contradiction right because it is incomprehensible i still yeah, have because your god is given an argument that makes any sense with that yeah I was, yeah <laughs> god really knows Christians everything that is about to happen and yet free will exists that's an obvious contradiction anybody who tells you otherwise is using philosophical mumbo jumbo like playing with words as to, to make something that is so simple make, make, make it to look make it seem like, like it's complicated okay based on any theistic worldview any abrahamic theistic worldview free will cannot exist okay they tell us that so i mean technically free will doesn't exist but i mean belief in um a tri omni god also you know will lead you to the same conclusion right so yeah it's very simple they they act like it's a complicated thing it's not your god makes no sense hey guys if you're a fan of blasphemy and sexy cali you know like me then you need to be sure to subscribe to our newsletter link in the description below because if you subscribe, we will send you a free copy of our Blasphemous Art ebook. And let me tell you, it is the tastiest blasphemy that you can find anywhere available today. And we are so generous with our blasphemy that we continue to send you more blasphemy every week. So make sure to subscribe. Link in the description below.